What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Comical Mischief, Comcast, Mr. 5150. And I come to you today with a funny, serious, but uh, yet sad story, all at the same damn time. Now, a Chinese activist by the name of Chang Wong Chang, I hope I said his name right, um, escaped Chinese authorities. I bet that y'all say, hey, that's nothing new. But he's fucking blind. Yeah, he's blind. So I don't, I mean, I'm, I mean, hey, he was held on house arrest in China for over 18 months. And he's a self-taught lawyer. And he is a political activist in China. Now. I did some digging on this story, and I found some real unbelievable shit about China. Now, according to CNN.com, activists allege forced abortions and sterilizations in China. And I was like, what? Now, I'm not even going to even... Well, fuck it. I will go on. Uh, Chinese authorities had dragged her out of her home and down four flights of stairs, she said, restraining and beating her husband as he tried to come to her aid. They whisked her into a clinic, held her down on a bed, and forced her to undergo an abortion. I wanted to make sure that that was something that I, that I wanted to read. Wow. Her offense was becoming pregnant with a second child in violation of China's one-child policy. After the abortion, this is the lady speaking. Her name is Ji Wang. I cannot, I cannot pronounce it. I'm sorry. But it says, uh, but she says, after the abortion, I felt empty as if something was scooped out of me. Ji told a Congress, a congressional panel in September. My husband and I had been so excited for our new baby. Now suddenly, all the hope and joy and excitement disappeared. I was very depressed and despondent for a long time. Whenever I thought about my lost child, I would cry. Wow. Holy shit. As she lay unconscious, she said, an IUD to prevent future pregnancies was inserted. What the fuck? You mean to tell me they did this shit with our consent? They just snatched the lady. Wow. Man, this is a natural reaction. Because this is my first time really doing some real detailed research. And just before I cut my webcam, I, I, I did this. This is crazy. The issue of forced abortions, and in some cases forced sterilizations in China has seized the spotlight in recent days with news of escaped activist Chen Wang Chang. Wow. Let's read, let's read some more about the escaped activist and then I'll give some more my thoughts. Chen, a blind self-taught lawyer, just like I said, rose to fame in the late 1990s because of his advocacy for what he calls victims of of abusive practices such as abortions by Chinese family planning officials he investigated forced abortions and sterilizations in eastern China a practice China denies and helped organize a class action lawsuit on behalf of victims for which he served four years in prison Wow Wow. Now, now I just read that directly off of CNN.com, which is, you know, um, they are pretty much credible. If they put it up, you know, you can pretty much guarantee that it is correct because they do their research on all, all of the stories. Well, many, if not all. Um, my thoughts on this is, what the fuck, man? Just imagine if... The U.S. started doing this, or or even if you don't live in the U.S., if you live anywhere else but China, just just imagine if you and your mate 
deciding to have a child just wasn't your choice alone. Wow. I think that's crazy. But, all right. On the funny part, um, how in the hell did a blind man slip from <laughs> all those guards with eyeballs that work? Hey, it might sound rude, but hey, I'm just saying. I mean, this dude is cunning, man. How the fuck? I mean, now, the reports are stating that he had a little help. You know, he had a friend. But still, you got, well, not even four pairs of eyes. You got two people with two eyes between the both of them that, that outwitted many guards that had him on house arrest for over 18 months. <laughs> Good for you, Chang Wong Chang. Good for you, man. Fucking good for you. Now, reports are saying that he is at the uh, U.S. Embassy based in China. And some people say he might be there. Some people say he might not be there. But what the U.S. The U.S., if, if, if they are holding him in that embassy, they don't want it to become public knowledge until they have private talks with China. Because the last thing that the U.S. wants to do is to make China look like a little bitch. I'm just saying. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and before I started doing this web video, I researched the story. And the video is called Chinese Dissident Chang Wong Chang releases video shortly after escaping house arrest. And one of the top comments, well, well, the two top comments says this. The first one has 23 thumbs up. How the fuck can a blind man escape from house arrest? <laughs> oh my God. And that was uh, posted by Scottish Bad Boy Tracks. The second one, which I think is funny as hell, which was posted by KT Chong, which has 18 thumbs up, says, The Chinese government got blindsided by a blind dude. Bet they did not see that coming. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. Oh my god, man. That that's funny, y'all. But anyway, um <laughs> sad see, I told y'all, serious, funny, and sad all at the same damn time. Thank y'all for stopping by, man. My name is Comcast, Mr. 5150. As always, I'm a comical misfit because I just don't sit in. I like doing shit different. Like y'all see my little webcam video. It's in black and white because I just don't want to be like everybody else. So y'all be good. Hey, a like doesn't hurt. Okay? Like it if you like it. And a favorite don't hurt. Uh, Whatever I said in the last video, sound real cool and all that other shit, man. Y'all take it easy, man. And uh, I think I'm crazy. 50, 150, yeah, um, they lose.